Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to tell you three things that most of my advanced Brazilian English students just don't know. And these are three things that I guess are pretty important for business English. Let's go with number one. So the most important thing I think you need to know when socializing is this. Let's imagine you're in a bar, you say to your American co-worker, I think it's time that you drank a caipirinha. What you do not say to the barman is this, hey, can I have a lemon caipirinha? I love to see the faces of my students when I tell them this because they're like, no, of course it's lemon, of course it's lemon. Guys, I know that in Portuguese you have four different types of lemon. So this is a lemon, but in English it's called a lime. So, if you're in a bar and you say to the barman, hey, can I have a lemon caipirinha, you're gonna get a really disgusting drink. <laughs> and you do not want this, especially if you're trying to impress your co-workers or whoever you're ordering a caipirinha for. Guys, do you want a caipirinha? You ask for a lime caipirinha. The second thing that I want to teach you today is this. Let me give you a sentence and you can, we'll, we'll talk about why this is incorrect. So, recently I have been working as a dog. If you're working as a dog, you're telling me that your role in the company is a dog. So, if you are Pluto, for example, at Disneyland, you can tell people, hey, I work as Pluto or I work as a dog. As and like, they're kind of confusing because as conjunctions, you can use them in pretty much the same way. For example, I have blue eyes as my mother does, or I have blue eyes like my mother. No problem there, but when you're talking about somebody's role, you're always gonna use as. For example, I work as an English teacher. I have been working like a dog. The third one, so this one is really important, and the thing is, this is not in many textbooks, and I understand why, because it's related to death. So I guess it's a very sensitive subject. You don't see it in many books, but if you say to me, last night my grandmother passed out, now we're arranging the funeral, guys, no, 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 no. If somebody passes out, it means that they're unconscious. Maybe they've drank too much. Maybe they saw blood and they just hate blood, so they pass out, they faint. Maybe they're just exhausted and they pass out from just being tired. What you need to say instead is, my grandmother passed away. So if somebody passes away, this is related to death. If somebody passes out, it means that they have fainted. So yeah, guys, these have been my three tips. These tips have come from my book, 100 More Mistakes Brazilians Make in English. This book, I have been writing this book for a year and a half. I am so excited that I'm finally gonna release it on January the 9th. I'm gonna leave a link to it down here. So, have a look at the book, check it out. Also, if you like this channel, if you wanna see more videos like this, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit subscribe to my channel and I will speak to you guys next week.